What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. This is one of like three where I've it's gone better. raw. It's better. Why do you think it's better? Um, it's better because I, I really feel like if I'm being honest, I feel like it it makes me more like genuinely into the conversation because I'm not like listening to myself speak. Uh, I'm just uh, listening to you speak. Uh, and but when I hear myself, I think about a lot about like what I'm saying. Oh, okay. like that, which might be better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. might be better because I say a lot of stupid shit. But um, <laughs> I also think this way, like it makes it more genuine of a conversation instead of just like a, a recording. Yeah. OK, fair. Well, who knows? Let's see if this episode ends up just yeah. complete garbage. Yeah. Do you know what I love about us being... So, first of all, all of the UK shows, smashing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Smashing. Oh, bruv. Bruv, love it. They've been so good, bruv. Love it. You know what I love? Real top notch. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not a... Mental. Real um, primo. No, that's not a word that they Mental. use here. Mental. Mental. In yeah. It. Mental. They've in been it. mad. Yeah, mad. They've been it's mad. mad. It's mad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was, so, it was so good that KSI said it was fucking dope. Why? And I'm saying, like, he, it was so good. He spoke, he, he was American he for a second. American accent. He's like, you know what? It was fucking sick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Could not picture JJ. Uh, Shout out to JJ, man. He was super cool. Yeah, it was great. That, that man is like. He's a great guy. His on-camera persona and then, like, off-camera. Off-camera, that dude is chilled. Yeah. As fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. He's yeah. the British one. Yeah, chilled. yeah, yeah. He's chilled, chilled. bro. Chilled. Proper chilled, tense. mate. Proper chilled. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Chilled. Um, It's been a time out here. Shout out to everyone who came. It's been fucking... And and the the London lead up was just like dope. What do you like mean? Starting in Liverpool. Yeah. I was like, we got our bearings. It was yeah. a good show. Yeah. And then Birmingham was an even better show. Manchester was even better. Manchester fucking smashed. I still feel like Manchester was almost better than London. No way, dude. I can't, I'm, I'm gonna say it. I don't say know. It. Just because we might, just because we fucked up the the order of the material a little bit. If we didn't do that yesterday, it yeah, would have yeah. felt like we smashed. Yeah, it might have felt like a ten out of ten. Everything would have flowed perfectly, yeah, true, but we kind of messed true. it up a little bit, so it felt like yeah, speed bumpy to us, like a little bit, a little bit, like. yeah. But I mean, like, I'm I'm just gonna suck my own shit for a second. I think I think I yeah, you handle it. I called those audibles yeah. pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're getting good at like putting the mic down. And be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then putting that. <laughs> we used to do that shit in the mic, yeah. I feel like. I'd be like, oh, damn it, you skipped the thing. <laughs> we should go back. <laughs> Everyone's like, huh? <laughs> huh? No, oh, man, it's been, um, it's been great. Um, uh, apologies to everyone. Uh, yeah, that, Glasgow. Yeah. Glasgow. Really, everyone that, really sorry. Yeah, this fucking storm completely, like, all of our flights got canceled. Yeah. Um, nope. Uh. Like they, you know, they, we would we wouldn't have been able to get any of the gear there at all. The only they completely fucked everything up. Yeah, the only chance of us getting there was like riding through the night with like a couple sprinters, and one guy on our team said the last time this storm hit, uh, like full on trucks just blew over from the wind. Yeah. So we were like, you know, maybe we don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and then even then they were saying like we might not have made it all the way. <laughs> just sounds like. The fucking Oregon Trail, <laughs> which is what it would have been when the thing tipped over. It just yeah. would have been a trail of our organs, but <laughs> that um, the Oregon Trail, the Oregon Trail. Oh yeah. my god, that was bad. But yeah, so um, so we rescheduled it to Saturday. Yeah, so we're hoping that you all can make it. Yeah, um, after you're done fucking each other's brains out, you can come see us the next day. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, because it's Valentine's Day, not because you're just Glasgow is a horny place yeah. even yeah. though maybe it is I yeah. don't know <laughs> oh shite oh shite no that's that's Irish that's Irish yeah they like said don't fucking do that yeah there. I know stabbed. I got so much shit for Paige and I slipped I yeah. I really meant to say Scottish but I said <laughs> Irish like a fucking bozo um I know she's Scottish um am am picked that am, up from Liverpool am am am, am you alright yeah yeah you alright mate it was cool Ending, it was cool flying into London and then going and then leaving right away, uh -huh. doing the shows and then finally coming back to London. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, it just felt like a cool little like homecoming. Yeah, completely. For some reason. Those and the venue was by far the nicest. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, the others had character though. 
Yeah, no, totally. Like, like Manchester's venue had a lot more character. Or not yeah, a lot no, more, it wasn't like, yeah, I'm just saying like this one was like a theater. The, you know, theaters beautiful. are the sound yeah, is always yeah, way yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Um, but nah, we, we've had a, we've had a hell of a time. First off, I want to say, uh, Birmingham and Liverpool, not as bad as everyone made it out to be. Mm -hmm. We got like preemptive messages, like be careful. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Everyone was cool. Everyone was cool. Yeah. It was great. Um, and even in, uh, Manchester was like by far, that's the first time I had like one of those like local experiences where like, you know, like a local person runs up on you. So uh Matt and I were crossing the street and this is really common and like I like kind of was shook after this happened because I know this happens and basically it's I think super common for tourists to come to the UK and they don't they always forget about the lane switches so they get killed by buses mm -hmm. so we're crossing the street That's why it always says look this way yeah yeah, yeah. for fucking idiots yeah. so we we walk and swear to god we didn't hear a fucking bus and we look to our left and this bus is like booming and as i'm looking up these two guys behind us are like oi bro you gotta move and we like we like it's like a, it's synced up and then we skipped out the way and these two guys they come running up to us one dude shout out this man his name's godfrey i forget his homeboy's name i'm so sorry but godfrey comes up to us he's like oh bro you're all right bless you mate bless you you could have died right there i saved your life i'm like yeah you kind of did bro <laughs> I will, and I first, for at first I thought he was gonna fuck with me, and he's like, "What's your name, bro?" And he's like, getting to know me and shit, and he's like, super nice. And he was like, "What, what are you doing here, mate? You just here for the night?" He's like, "Oh, mate, I wish this would have happened in East London. I could have taken you around. I could have shown you." Around. I'm like, "That's really nice of you to show around a stranger." <laughs> so then we we walk a few blocks, and I tell him, "Yeah, I'm just like I'm here doing a show, this and that." And he was like, "He's like, well, you know what, mate? Anything you need, call my guy." Call my guy. And like he look he pulls up his phone. <laughs> he has this dude in his phone book as my guy. <laughs> I'm like, like, oh literally. Yeah, yeah, oh, literally yeah, my guy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, dude, that's already just sketchy as fuck. Yeah. He's like, You're gonna call my guy. And I start laughing and I point at his phone. He's like, literally, that's why I call him my guy, because he is my guy. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I get it. He's yeah, your yeah, guy. Yeah, he's your dude. Yeah. He's he's mine. So then you put him in your phone as your guy. Yeah, yeah, he's not no Godfrey's guy. <laughs> Godfrey's guy. <laughs> you got to get to Godfrey's guy. <laughs> so I fucking I we start laughing and he he gives his number to Matt. And then uh cuz you know, we're just like, you know, we're oblig obliging him and you know, perhaps someone would have liked weed later. So Matt like gets his number and he's like you got you got to see my guy, no one else. And we're like, okay, we won't see anyone else except your guy. And then he just like dapped us up and then he just dipped. <laughs> And that was it. And we were like, that was like weirdly nice. <laughs> like it was almost too nice. We didn't know if like it was a setup. We meet his guy later. They rob us, whatever. Yeah. Weirdly um, nice for like a, a drug dealer for sure. Oh, or yeah. like someone who knows a drug, a drug dealer. dealer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but no, like they, they were super cool. And they're like, what are you guys doing right now? And because I wanted something to eat. I like went up the street and the only thing was like this kebab place. And I went in there and they weren't playing music. And I'm like, it's bad kebabs. <laughs> like if they're not yeah, yeah. playing fucking slamming house music, <laughs> yeah. it's bad kebabs. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So it was stone silent. I'm like, let me get out of there. So I went back down the street to McDonald's, whatever. It was funny when we came when I came back to the bar, um, dude from the touring company we were with, he, he was telling me he's like the worst meal he's ever had and like shit his brains out or whatever was that place. The kebab place that okay. I didn't get food from. Oh, good. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I you almost dodged ate the bullet. there. Yeah, he's like, bullet dodged, mate. I'm like, all right, great. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, even better than that. Oh yeah. Okay. So let <laughs> me let me tell you, this is now my my uh, going out in London experience. <laughs> so I, for for the context, I stayed in because um, I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> I was in pain. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. So. So yeah, this is so. There's this place called the Box. There's one in New York, and there's one here. And I don't know if there's one. Oh, is that what Roddy? Else. That's what he wrote the song about. Yeah, uh, I'm exactly. Sorry. It I'm very sorry. well could be, dude. I'm sorry. What, after you hear this, it very well could be what yeah. that song's about. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I was just going e -e -e all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's this club that, uh, I guess I don't know if it's any. It's probably in like other major cities too, but it's like super notorious like it's or it's infamous i've heard about it many a time never gone because it's <sighs> super fucking hard to get in apparently yeah, yeah. 
And uh, all I've heard about it is that it they put on insane shows. Yeah. And it's different every single time. And yeah. you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. But it's it's going to blow your mind. And you're going to and you're you're going to leave that place being like what the fuck did i just watch real quick elena's cousin came to the show last night and he was like he's like you, you going to the box i'm like i'm thinking about it and he was like i don't know if you just seen man i'm like why he's like ah, last time i was there someone was shitting on stage i was like what yeah and he was like he was like and that was it it was just shitting and i'm like oh fuck i like already don't feel good i'm like yeah, maybe I'm good. He's like, he's like, he's like, I don't think it's for you. So I'm like, all right, I'm a dip. That's what the other guy, one of KSI's friends, he said that. Um, oh damn, fucking. Uh, what's his name? The boy Sorry. Cal Freezy. Yes, or... yes, Cal Freezy. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Cal Freezy. Yeah. Tall boy. Or the Minimator was is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nelson. With Nelson. Yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry, I'm fucking awful with names. Shout out <laughs> to you guys though. Yeah. They're really nice. The side men. Yeah. They the also side, came yo, yeah. Shout out to the, the show. side men boys. They was um, they're you know. <clears throat> And Will Any too. Oh, Will, which that's oh another story. We'll, we'll tell that one yeah, after. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, after. yeah. Shout out Will, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so I've never been to this place. Oh yeah. So, uh, um, Cal Freezy said that um, the only other time he's been there, same sort of thing. Someone shit on a pizza and like threw it into the crowd or something <gasps> like that. But I like, I'm like, I'm like, that has to be fake, first of all, and second of all, oh, it's it like just fake didn't believe shit. it. I just didn't yeah. believe it. I was like, I have to see this with my own eyes. Also, love. I love weird shit like this. Mm -hmm. Like I love, like, like fucking Devin and I in Amsterdam went to like this sex show and we just like watched these two people fuck on stage. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's just me and my boy watching people <laughs> fuck yeah. on stage, and the whole time we're like, "This is dope." <laughs> I love weird shit like where, you know, it makes you like something. It makes you genuinely feel like the, I I've never seen this before. Yeah, fair. Yeah, you know that feeling where you're like, "Oh my god, yeah. this is a new feeling I've gotten in life. Yeah, this is a new thing I've seen. You rarely get that shit anymore." Yeah. And, um, well, you get shit at the box for yeah, sure. Yeah, you get shit. You well, get that shit yeah, yeah. for sure. So we get there. Oh, yeah. So, you know, uh, we're lucky enough to get in thanks to KSI. So this is the first time I've ever been to this place. I don't think we could have gotten in. Yeah. Um. Really? I don't I don't know. He he handled it. So I don't know. Yeah, he had like a promoter. They or were, something. The line was pretty fucking um, like huge. And also the bouncers were very, very mean. Oh. And we showed up and said his name, and it still took like 15 minutes. Finally, I was like, all right, four of you can come in. That's Whoa. It. Yeah. And so uh, we get in, and it's it's going off. Like, we have this table, like, near the back, and everyone, not, nobody there is, like, general admission. Everyone has a table. Oh, okay. And everyone's standing on the seats, and it's going crazy, and it's very, very small. Like, I would say it's probably, like, double the size of this room. And there's a giant stage that comes through the middle. That like is a semicircle at the end, so there's tables wrapped around it, and then there's a main stage at the back. Oh fuck! And so uh, the first act comes on, and it's like this girl that's dressed up in lingerie. She's got this insane voice, and she starts singing, and it's like a singing number, okay. and that ends. And we're like, oh damn, that was like pretty great. As far as shows go, like live shows at a club, that was amazing. Yeah. The second one comes on. I don't even know if I can like. I'm pretty sure they like make you sign an NDA when you walk into this place or some shit. So I don't even know if I can talk about this. But Did you matter. sign this? Did you sign something? No, but I feel oh, like I had that it's vibe. Just like the, yeah, it's just like the understanding that if you go, you don't talk about it. Oh, but fuck that. I'm. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go again. <laughs> <laughs> no. So the second act, this chick, this crane comes down from the ceiling, and she comes out on stage, and she's dressed up in like sort of like a kimono, and she's got a blindfold around her face. And she attaches the crane hook onto her hair and it pulls her up in the air. And she does this whole number where she strips and spins around just by her hair the whole time. Okay. And it's like super weird and, and sexual and cool and, and dope. All right. She finishes that and we're like, damn, that was really cool. That was really cool. Okay. Little messed up that she was being held by her hair the whole time. But still very cool, right? What could the next one be? How are they going to top that? <laughs> the next one. The next one is this dude that has clown makeup on. Okay. Horrifying clown makeup. Okay. I'm talking like the shit straight from. Do you ever watch that video I did on that on ASMR? And there's that dude that had that mask on that's like rubbing the mic with his knife. I can't remember. Horrifying makeup. Like it, clown makeup. And he's got, um, he's got giant 
fake boobs. Okay. And then he is like almost naked or he's kind of wearing like a, a maid's outfit or something like that. Okay. But he takes his boobs out. Okay. And then, and then, um, there, he's got a, he's got a, a guy tied up naked okay. on right. stage and he takes a knife and he basically insinuates that he's like cutting the guy's dick off or something like that. Okay. Or maybe like slicing his leg or something. Okay. Cause he has his blood on his hand all of a sudden. Oh. And he gets up on stage, turns his ass towards everyone, and starts fisting his own ass with the blood-covered hand. So, oh, man. So, like, That was the next thing. Like, I don't... And we're all like... <laughs> everyone in the club is like, what the fuck? So, what, is it like they were trans? Like, what... Or is it just like hard to say? Because the makeup just like was not telling. I don't even know if the boobs were real. Oh, word. Or I don't even know if they were like real fake boobs. They might have just been like a thing like that one he of those was like wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, <clears throat> whoa. And, and in the clown makeup, I mean, it wasn't even like I didn't even know. No, it's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And good hair though. And so, no, he's wearing a wig. Oh, like a crazy like coffee. Crazy wig. Word. So he's fisting his own ass with. With his blood co- blood soaked hand from the I'm sorry if this is like disgusting <laughs> to you right now it's more funny to me because it's like we were all just like it went from uh this yeah like yeah <laughs> sexual circulation like, yeah well it's like it's like you know it had this sense of like oh wow this yeah this. yeah and she's like spinning around her body's all like you know she's pointing her toes and she's it's like it's sure. art or something it's art it's, it feels like dance you yeah, know yeah. to this like shock yeah value show you yeah. Know? And so we're like, okay, uh, that was wild. The next one comes out as two dudes and they're contortionists. Okay. And they do these crazy like pop lock dance moves where they're like popping their shoulders out and shit like that. Ugh. Was wild, but like also a little bit gross. And then, and then there was another show that was like kind of normal. And then the the clown <laughs> comes back out <laughs> and he gets naked, completely naked, and he takes his dick and he just pees all over. All the people that were sitting at the table surrounding the stage. So these are the most expensive tables at this club. I mean, they're probably like thousands of pounds. And this dude is just peeing all over them. And we watched. <laughs> boobs or no boobs? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> like, so they were real like, then. Yeah, but it could have been like makeup. Like it could have been like a fake set of boobs that he put. I don't know. Word. Okay. Word, I just got to get the image right. I got to make sure the boobs are on or off. The boobs are the boobs are there. Bo- breasts are there. Yeah, breasts are there. It's peas on everyone. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that feels like some like high art, like rich person shame me shit. How did the people respond? Like, were they just they were like, pissed, upset? Yeah, they were all like rushing to the bathroom to like dry themselves off and stuff like that. But I. I don't know, but then again, it it weirdly like then a, the the host came back on stage, like original chick with the with the pipes, yeah, the chick that was belting it out at the start, and she basically was like calling them pussies and like <laughs> and saying, "Oh, you're sad, you got a little whatever," and then like was kind of berating them, and so it 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 almost like dissolved the tension a little bit. Word, it's so fucking hard to explain, yeah, without actually being there. No, of course, it was just the wildest show like yeah vibe i've ever i've ever no, seen i mean that that to me is like that's some yeah that's like some weird like art bullshit and then it happens and then they're they're you know breaking down uh i don't know social norms through fucking art yeah. or show and yeah yeah no that makes it interesting yeah it, it does make it interesting it's it got, wild got a little piss on your fucking you know high class garments yeah. a little boohoo yeah, yeah. take it home throw it in your washing yeah, exactly. machine fucking cry about yeah. something else sorry you got a little pee on the gucci oh oh boohoo oh, a little it's pee-pee. sterile you idiot yeah. it's probably cleaner now <laughs> yeah drink it yeah that's 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 not just any pee yeah there's that's, one guy in the front like yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fresh clown fist in the ass pee <laughs> and you should be thankful you got some of that pee <laughs> so stop fucking complaining you know, man, you, it was wild. You can you can get a Gucci jacket anywhere. Yeah. You know what you can't get? That man's piss yeah. from that night. Exactly. That's the rare part. Oh, yeah. That's the designer part. Yep. You should fucking, you should laminate that part of the fabric with the pee mm-hmm. soaked in. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, dude. 
I am so glad I went to sleep. Oh my god. Wild. Wild. I mean, we definitely left that place being like that was yeah, one of the craziest nights we've ever had. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You mean, never see shit like that. No. Also, like it it's like illegal to do that, right? You can't just pee on people. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> It's so, it's let's try it at our show. Legal. Let's see what happens at our show. Let's just take a whiz on somebody. Just a quick whiz. See if any yeah anybody just try the same thing at our show and get fucking <laughs> nailed with a lawsuit. Yeah, no, no, no. You can't pee on people. You actually can't pee on anyone. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, part of me wishes I could have been a fly on the wall. And another part of me thinks that the fist in the ass might have put me away. Yeah. Because it's one thing to see it in a video because you're desensitized to that kind yeah. of shit. You're like, ah, it's, it's Shocker porn, whatever. Yeah. But to see a a human actually be like, hey, you want you want to see a magic trick? Yeah. Like, what's up? You know, someone with cards? Not nah, even better. Dude, I mean, like, or was I, it- did, I honestly didn't mind the fist in the ass. I was like, this just, I mean, it just, it's, it's like watching a sex show or whatever. You're just watching <laughs> someone do some crazy shit to their body. But the blood, that's what got me. Yeah. The blood was like, oh fuck, this is another dude's blood. That I don't know if that's real or not. And I'm, ah. by the way that this is going right now, I kind of think it's real. Because I don't think they cut corners or, or the whole point is, is to commit to fucking shock you and to go all the way. Damn. But then Damn. again, I don't know if the piss was real. Because you can't just, but his, his dick was out. I saw it come out of his dick. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Wild. Well, Damn. <laughs> what was JJ's reaction to all that? Was he just like, oh, shit. We're all just like, oh, <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and then we never, we just left. And then none of us ever like decompressed or like, uh, you know, <laughs> unpacked what we just saw. So now this is me doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Part of me wishes I saw that. Yeah. But like I'm in that weird in between where it's like. I really am down the middle on that. Yeah. Like, I actually don't, I don't have, like, that burning regret. Yeah. Like, I, I, like half of me is glad I just get to hear this secondhand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it just made me, like, when I heard the pizza shit, now I know that pizza shit definitely yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the shit. Yeah. I just don't know, like, I couldn't imagine, like, with the way I was feeling last night, like, I, I think I would have vomited. Yeah, I mean, thank God Will and he didn't come. Yeah, so, yeah, shout out to our boy. Tell that story. Yeah, poor guy, man. He So, Will has, like, a rare sensitivity to um, gore. And I was telling a joke in the show. I, I began to fist my ass during the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm on stage, and I, um, to I'm it. tied up, and I have a gag on. Yeah. And this is the part where Noel... Um, Pretends slices to, my leg, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm collecting was. a little bit of blood, yeah. just, you know, just a little bit of lube. Yeah. And I'm about to fist my own ass. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> I started telling this joke, and it involves surgery. And Will, um, he's only ever had one instance in his life where it affected him. And it just so happened the second time was at our show. I felt so badly know, for the guy. I know. So he kind of starts spazzing a little bit. And... Cody like interrupts me. He's like, "Hey, is everything all right? Is, like, is he having a seizure?" And his girlfriend kind of shouts out. She's like, "Yeah, he, he's not all right." So I like shout out to the venue. I'm like, "Hey, can someone take care of him?" Because it it didn't look like a seizure. Like we said that on stage, but that's not what it looked like. Like he was just kind of like blinking a lot and like looking left. No, and right. no, no, dude. He was fully seizing. Was he? He was I going like this, this, this. Like I that's so- why I said because I thought it was a fight because it looked like someone had him from the ne- neck, neck, like. Oh him, word! Because he was so like. Oh no, yeah, because that's like what that. you said. You said, "Are you guys fighting down yeah. there?" And so, like, by the time I was looking at him, his head was like sort of down, and he was doing this, like he was like blinking like a shitload. Yeah, that was after. That was like when he came to. Yeah, but what? By the time I had seen it, his arm was like across his girlfriend's body, and he like looked to her, and then like he came center, and then like he was. It looked like he was like shaking it off. So then, like, at that moment, the sound guy kind of popped out the booth and started running down, and, like, yeah, he came, too. And so by the time the venue staff um, got to him, uh, you know, whatever, um, he he was solid, and he had come, too. And I go, hey, you all right, man? What's your name? <laughs> Cody's like, that's Will N.E. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, get him backstage and, like, make sure he's all right. So he's okay. Um, so he, like, passed out for a second. Like, that's what that was. Yeah, I guess he just doesn't like gore. Yeah, so he got 
the poor guy, man. And like he was, he was pretty like taxed from that whole thing. So like he kind of had to dip out early. Yeah. But he was hanging backstage for a minute. But you know, yeah. It was a, Just man. Thank God he didn't come. For the yeah. Box. Yeah. Thank. Yeah. Oh my God. Did you imagine? Yo, we're all going out tonight. You want to go? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That guy's like, he's like, oh, he probably just would have got the knife and that would have been it. He'd been like, oh, yeah, the first like, part would have been, <laughs> no, he would have been the chick with the hair. He would have been like, he's pulling up by a hair. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, oh. I kind of wish I went to see like what my threshold would have been. Yeah. Because I, I say I would have been grossed out, but it could have been one of those things where, yeah, like I would have been in the moment and been like, damn, that's just a fist in the butt. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And just looked at it with locked eyes. Oh, I yeah. Don't know. It was going in, too. Like, just... It was crazy. Sorry. Sorry. If that makes you... I just feel like <laughs> a little bit more <laughs> of an yeah, image yeah. of what happened. Yeah, you if know? you weren't going to throw up, yeah, you already, needed to... Th- was really going We for need it, to though. put a warning... Really going for it. We need to put a warning on this episode. <laughs> we just need to put in parens graphic. Every fucking episode ends up like that now. Yeah, I know. I know it does end up graphic, and I wish I I wish I could be like cool enough to be like, man, I don't talk about what happens at the box, you know. Nah, I go there and fuck that, see the show and think about what it means, and like I'm not I don't share that with people who haven't been. No, no I saw this stuff that. and I was like, no, I got to talk about this. Fuck that, dude. I got to talk yeah, about this. One no, of the man. wildest shows I've ever seen in my entire life. That's bullshit. Price and I've seen some shit. Pricing people out of that shit. Get out of here. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You want that big money? Go on tour. Yeah. Take the fist in the ass show on tour. Yeah. Put it in an arena. Yeah. Put some cameras on it. Yeah, yeah. Fucking make people pay 20,000 pounds. Yeah. That's horse shit. Yeah. Make the people in the front row pay the 20,000 pounds to get peed on, but mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah. But I do understand, like, for the context of the show, making it limited. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. You know, whatever. But yeah. No, it makes it, like, yeah, it's just that element of, like, exclusivity where you're like, yeah, no. I need to be peed on. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Also, like the waitresses were all like, um, uh, like, ch- like drinking with us. Mm. Like they'd bring around the champagne and they'd pour themselves a glass too, and they'd like they were all kind of in character. Oh, word, okay, which is kind of cool. All right, it was cool. It was cool. Like nah. they had people dressed up in lingerie of like all different, like you know, shapes, sizes, like every sort of type of person you can think of. It was, okay. it was they were like part of the show, right. part of the entertainment. It was cool. Word, yeah. All right, now now I need to know from people who like consume, you know, performance art. I want to know someone who's like, you paid for that shit. Yeah, man, just go down to the da 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 for thirty quid. Yeah, thirty quid, man. You get you see a fist and ass all night, yeah, bro. Yeah. I want to know where that place is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to know the fucking. Yeah, you go down some stairs, bro. Yeah, I want to know the open mic version of that. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I want to know the open mic version of that because you know there definitely is. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know I didn't just debut at the box. Nah, hell nah, nah. He worked up to the box. I want to see the people, you know, on the come up. Yeah, you know, literally, dude. I don't know. (laughs) Comes up on some. I don't know. I want to see that. It's got to be something they do. Yeah, yeah. They got it. There's got to be come. (laughs) There's a come show at the box. I'm saying like probably like Wednesday nights. Maybe it's like the come night. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, bro. It's cummy Sunday. (laughs) Come Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, come hang with the boys. Yeah, bro. Tell us the open mic version of the box. That's what I want to pull up to. Yeah. That's wild, man. If you think that's mad. Yeah, so safe to say, man, our UK experience has been fucking something else. Yeah. Um, Sorry, one sec. Sorry. No, you're solid. Here we go. You're solid. <clears throat> what a fucking... Jesus, dude. How do we top that? <laughs> Fucking- yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we follow. I don't know how we follow that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Just jam the mics. <laughs> All right, here we go. And action, action. We're going in. I fucking can't wait for LGBTQ Instagram to take that bit for us. Yeah, yeah, that segment, and be like, oh, we're getting closer. <laughs> We're gonna get him. We're gonna, gonna put it in there. Trust. <laughs> no nah, man, that's that's wild. It's fucking wild. I love wild. Europe though. I I um um. Never mind. I won't make that joke. What? Technically. Oh oh. I know, yeah. I know. I know. I Sorry. love the UK. Sorry, Brits. I yeah. love the UK. Yeah, UK. Um, yeah, yeah. I love taking trains everywhere. Yeah. I love uh, M and S foods. I mm-hmm. love the fucking sandwiches in a box. 
I love Sainsbury. I eat the one with salad cream on it. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you might hose one tomorrow. I'm going to hose one tomorrow. Yeah. For sure. And yeah. I like Greg's. Mm-hmm. That sausage roll that I had is really good. Fucking workman's lunch, dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, fucking speaking of weird exclusive shit, we were in Soho, and I don't know what we were passing, but like it was like a door, and it just said open, and there was like a staircase down. And Matt like looks at it. It's like me, Matt, and Chris, and Matt's like, you want to? I'm like, yeah. And then Chris is like, no, 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 don't fucking go down there. And Matt's like, why not? Let's just fucking see. I'm like, okay. So like we go walk down the steps. What was it? So we're going down the steps and Matt is in front of me and he gets to the bottom and he says that, well, first of all, he gets to the bottom and we just hear a voice go, busy right now, go away. We're like, oh, fuck. Matt goes, all right. And he comes walking back up the (laughs) stairs. He's like, no, no, no. Probably like a gambling I don't know, but he was he was like, no, like, I got to the bottom of the stairs, and it was just like a door, like a regular door that you just open. He's like, I don't know what the fuck was in there. But he's like, it sounded quiet. Damn. Yeah. So. That shit's so wild about, you know, like, cities like New York and like this. Uh-huh. So many doors and staircases. And yeah, yeah, and just into, into shit. Yeah, you just know, like, there's crazy shit going on right <laughs> down there. I don't even know what it is. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, here's another funny bit. So we were trying to find like a, like a little place to chill at um, the <clears> first <throat> night we were here. And everything was dead. So it was Tuesday. So we like found like some random spot. We didn't find it. I got a recommendation. But it's a spot called uh, Simmons. And there's two of them. We went to the one in Soho. And then um, someone told me, like, no, nah, the one on Oxford Street's bigger. And it might be a little bit more active. So we're like, eh, we got like a couple hours. Like, might as well. So we pop over there. And, uh, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's Oxford Street, so you can anticipate, like, tourists and shit. So it's definitely bigger, and there's music in there. And we're like, oh, yeah, it seems like it's popping in there. Just a little, just enough to hang. By popping, it was, like, 20 people. So we get to the door, and Chris is wearing sweats. And the security guard is, like, big, tall dude. He's like, come on, bro. We're like, what? He's like, I can't let you in like that. He's like, like, what? He's like, oh, the sweats? He's like, nah, man, they won't, they won't go for it. We're like, what the fuck? I'm like, well, there's nobody in there. Yeah. He's like, I'm sorry. That was just, you didn't even say a word. He just went, Ugh. okay. So I'm like, all right, watch this. <laughs> I'm like, we're on Oxford Street. We walk out to the corner. There's like some fucking Macy's or like, there's like a like a fucking department store type thing. And I'm like, bet you they got some fucking pants. Yeah, okay. department store type beat. <laughs> That's just fucking, um, what's a department store type beat? There's like Avril Lavigne softly in the background <laughs> and footsteps. And do you need any help? So we go into this department store and we find like some just plain black pants for Chris to wear. I turn my shit down. Hello? Hello? Sorry, my shit is like soft as Doctor's yeah, Cotton. Yeah. Um, soft, soft as what? I took that from Jamie Foxx. Softer than Doctor's Cotton. Mm. Uh, so we go into the department store and we get the pants <laughs> and we fucking he puts them on. They're like right about to close and we walk back to the place. And I'm like, all right. I point at Chris's legs. He's like dying laughing. He's like, you fucking bought pants? We're like, yeah, dude. He's like, for here? We're like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, I have to let you in. So we get in and it was not worth <laughs> at all. You we must get that. They must <sighs> see that shit all the time. What? You're on Oxford Street? Yeah. If there's no, if someone's not up to dress code, they just go buy some shit. Oh, totally, yeah. 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 I mean, so whatever. It's a baller ass move, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, all 20 pounds. Yeah. Fucking, you know, I'm crazy. I bought those pants for Chris. Like I'm the fucking man. Yeah. I'm like let me take care it's of you, bro. Nothing, dude. Not I didn't even check the tag. Except I did. Exactly. <laughs> he pulled the pants off, and I'm like, all right, let's go. How much are they? Oh, 20 pounds. Okay, 20 pounds. Cool. God. Damn. You get a coupon or something. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we go up in Simmons, and then we're just sitting there, the fucking the three of us, just uh, I'm not even drinking. I'm just drinking water, and then uh, Chris is like, so pants for this, huh? I'm like, yep, pants for this. Then Matt gets a little drunk, and then all the music they were playing there was like weird 80s shit. And uh, the the bar manager, he's like, he listens to the podcast and stuff. He's a cool dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, word. Shout out. His name is Jack. Shout out another, Jack. Another bartender was there, and she's living here just like, as not it? Like, I think she came on an exchange program, and I think she just stayed or something. I don't know. Um, But they were like super cool. And so he walks by, and I'm like, hey, man, like, can we change the music? Like, can I make a request? Like, who's DJing? He's like, uh, let me see what I can do. So he goes to the back. He's like, what do you want to hear? And I'm like, 
Let's play some DaBaby, man. Just something. So he goes back and he's like on this computer. And Matt is like, he's a little bit drunk and now he's getting impatient. And like the dude's there. He's like, what the fuck is he doing? He's like, I want to hear some DaBaby. I'm like, all right, <laughs> Hank, like chill out. I want some shit with some bop in yeah, it. God yeah, damn it. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's doing that number. I want some shit with some bop in it, Nathan. <laughs> So the dude comes back and he's like, yeah, man, unfortunately, like our bar, like we don't have like Spotify. We're like hooked into a music system where it's like controlled. Like there's only like publicly approved music that we can play. <laughs> and then Matt's like, what the fuck? You don't have an ox or anything? It's like the guy leaves. And then more people start walking by and the more drunk Matt's getting, Matt's like, ask this fucking guy. Ask him if he'll play it. I'm like, Matt, we just talked to the bar manager. I'm not going to ask another guy. And Matt just starts leaning over to random dudes. He's being like, can we fucking change this shit? The music sucks. I'm like, God damn it. This is the American thing right here. It's happening right yeah, now. Yeah. And then the guy's like, oh, well, if you talk to him. I'm like, we did talk to him. He's like, oh, there's nothing I could do, Matt. I'm like, Matt, there's nothing you can do. And Matt's like, just something, please. Just something with some bop in it, he's like, please. I'll, he's like, I'll pay anything. I'm like, he's not going to pay anything. Let's just get that out the way right now. He's not like that. He's not going to pay anything. Then the security guard walks by and Matt goes, dude, we bought pants to come in here. Can we listen to anything else? The security guard's like, no, I can't change it. Like, if you talk to him, I'm like, we did talk to him. He's like, yeah, see, then there's nothing I can do. I'm like, there's nothing anyone can do, Matt. And he goes, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And I'm taking my pants yeah, with I'm me. Yeah, I'm taking my fucking pants with me. He just harassed everyone in the bar. <laughs> And now you want to fucking leave? Good move, dude. Oh, and then he starts drunk arguing with some Australian dude about sports as, as we're waiting for our Uber. And I'm just like, God damn it. I was like really shook for Liverpool. I'm like, God forbid Matt does this in Liverpool and we just get the shit kicked out yeah, of us. Yeah. I had a weird experience in fucking Manchester, though. When I was going to my hotel room, I went in the wrong elevator because I was like on the other side of the building. And so like I came down with my suitcase and then... I thought I was supposed to go back up like a couple floors. So like I'm in the elevator with a suitcase and this, this lady walks in with some dude and he's like bald headed and he's like, you going up? I'm like, yeah. He's like, we have a suitcase. I'm like, yeah. He's like, but you just came down. I'm like, yeah. He's like, hmm. And like, he kind of like postures up at me. I'm like, what the fuck? It was like a small ele elevator. And he like kind of moves his girl to the side and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get back up to my floor. He's like, oh, awful night you're having. I'm like, what? Wait, what did he think you were doing? I have no fucking clue. But when he was like, awful night you're having, I'm like, is this dude about to sock me in the fucking face? And like, at that moment in time, like the elevator was like, ding. And like, it was on the floor I thought I was supposed to go to. I'm like, this is my stop. And he was just like, <laughs> and he, he like gestures, like, get the fuck out. It wasn't like a nice, like, like, oh, here you are. Here's your floor. He like shooed me out. And I was like, what? I think he was just like wasted. But it was like the weirdest shit. That's really fucking weird. I, I for sure thought he was going to fucking swing on me. It was like uncomfortable as fuck. Damn. And the girl didn't even do shit. She was just like looking at the floor. I'm like, oh, this guy's a psycho. Oh my God. Yeah. It was so fucked up. Damn. Dude. Yeah. And there was that dude that came up to me outside the bar. Oh yeah. Oh and yeah. Where was that? That was in Liverpool. Was it in Liverpool? Yeah. Cody almost got, it looked like Cody was going to get his shit pushed yeah. in. We went out in Liverpool after the show just because, like, we were like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, check let's it out. Go. Yeah. I look like I, my ass was about to get fisted by yeah, this yeah. guy. <laughs> no, so we were like, let's check out Liverpool. And, and the guys with us were like, yeah, we know a fun place down the road or whatever. So we, like, went somewhere, had a drink. It was, like, super casual. Mm -hmm. And then we, like, round the corner. Yeah. And this this bar is just blasting music, yeah. like, way too loud. And the speakers <laughs> were, like, broken. Yeah. So it was just super trebly. Yeah. So it was just all super high piercing noises took a year off our hearing oh for by sure. far we all left that place being like just hey! yeah that's right you're sounding like <laughs> so all these kids going like ape shit and so we like yeah, stayed we, there for a little bit half the dudes in there uh, on like the, the way i describe it is like just a pinch of molly yeah 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 like just, not fully just rolling micro dosing yeah just a little yeah, yeah. never seen that many dudes just like vibing yeah just so a dab Boop. yeah yeah she was yeah, she was great just like yeah oh. like not even looking at no, you want in particular, no. just like yeah, legitimately having a good time by themselves, clapping, fist pumping by themselves. Yeah, it they're all they they all looked like they were one shot away from being like, man, I love this song. Yeah, like it was yeah, just yeah, like yeah. they were right there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we're in that bitch. 
Yeah, and then so we were like leaving, <laughs> and this big dude. He wasn't this, big. He was solid. He was solid. He was stocky, like built, built dude, wearing a green polo, right? No, no, he was in like a like a crew neck, no. like sweater. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was a green polo. No, I sized Complete it up. Opposite. I, Actually, dude, he was in a turtleneck. The way he was walking, I sized that shit up. Like, all right, yeah. buddy, buddy was probably like five nine, five ten, probably like one one sixty. One and he had scabs around his eyes. Those just bruises from being. No, it was like scabs. Really? Yeah. It was oh, like okay. full on like he'd broken the skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was on his getting punched. Right on his orbital bone. Yeah. Just like just all around. Yeah. Like definitely like a fight fucking injury. He starts like approaching like <laughs> you know, at a pretty fast pace, I would say. Yeah. I'd say he was approaching briskly. Yeah, and his fucking hand was out pointing. And he just walks right up to Cody and he goes, Hey you fucking dick. <laughs> We're like, whoa. And <laughs> and then he says some shit that I can't understand. Because the music's blasting and his accent's super strong. And the only word I pick out was he sounds like this. He goes, Ah, yes, I don't care, Logan Paul. <laughs> and I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, fuck. Is this guy a Logan Paul fan that doesn't like me for some reason? Yeah. Maybe I'm about to get fought because of this. But you have to include this part where he walks up to you. He goes, Oh, you fucking dick. And then he taps you. Then he turns around. Yeah, and then walks back and says the Logan Paul shit, right? Yeah, and it's like... You know, when someone is like he worked up, yeah. he's doing that like figure or like that fucking oval maneuver yeah, where yeah, he's yeah. like de- debating how he's going to yeah. fucking punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. And he's like, Logan Paul, this and that. And then Cody's like, huh? And then we're all like, we kind of close in the circle a bit. We're like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. And then his boy walks up with him and he's a big ass dude. And yeah. I'm like, because here's the thing that I don't know if you knew this, but Elliot. Uh, one of the guys we were with, he told us the last time he was in Liverpool, he was with an artist, and it was a similar thing. Um, someone was roughing up his artist. So he goes to the security, and he goes, hey, they're fucking with my artist. And the security goes, are you fucking with me? Then Elliot goes, no, 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 no. Th- th- and doesn't even get that out. They fucking throw him on the ground. They <gasps> beat the shit out of him, and they break his leg. And they t- What? Yeah, yeah. In Liverpool? In Liverpool. It's rough. They fucking, they just want to fight down there. <laughs> Tom said the they day broke his leg. Yeah, Tom said the day he came Fuck. in, he was walking by like a convenience store, and there was an old guy squaring up with like a. He was like, kid couldn't have been any older than seventeen. Like they both dropped their shit. And they're like, I, I, you fucking, eh. and like they're just like they're about to just have it right there in the street. <laughs> so I'm thinking about all that as this dude is doing like, hey, you fucking dick. I'm like, oh, this is a fight for sure. Yeah, but I start getting paranoid because his boy walks up. And I didn't want it to be that same thing where like, we're like, oh, no, no, he came up and then he's like, oh, no, I'm coming up and then lays me out and then takes and his out boy my- was like sick. Yeah, like, yeah, was looking at like this. Yeah, because <laughs> it turned out that they were fans. But yeah, but the way that he was looking, it was like he was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like either like sizing me up or like seeing how the future was right, about to right, unfold. Right, right. So his face was like, yeah. And our next song would have been got our asses kicked in Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. So now the dude turns out to be a fan and like he you know, shakes Cody's hand and then and the dude like the dude was like his boy left and his his, his dude looked at us and he said something to the effect of like, eh, sorry about that. Yeah. We're like, Oh yeah, it's cool. Um so yeah, then we then we briskly He ended up being like the the thing that he said was like, Oh, Logan Paul's a Logan Paul is a twat or something like that. Uh, but I didn't understand it. I just I just heard uh, hey, <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> Yeah, Logan, mate. Logan. Yeah, so that was um that was Liverpool. Yeah. Liverpool. 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 And then Peel. I don't think of anything else. Birmingham was actually pretty touch and go. Mm-hmm. You yeah. didn't see much. Yeah. That was um sleeping in the sprinter is fucking brutal. Yeah. Cause like roads are way easier. We're cutting through the fucking country, so like the roads are just like, oh shit! Oh really? Fucking yeah! Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep like. Why don't they have? Why don't they have cars that you can that have beds that aren't yeah. RVs? Just normal cars. Oh, someone's just... driving, and then the two back seats <laughs> are two beds. I feel like safety regulation <laughs> like that probably just isn't safe to have a fucking subaru hatchback with a bed in the back it's called a bang bus it's like <laughs> not for porn not for anything why isn't there a car sinful? with a bed in no, the back not for sinning at all just for sleeping 
Just so you could go anywhere and fucking snooze on the way. It's That's skinny sick. as hell. It's just thin <laughs> as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a tandem bike with a bed and fucking five wheels. Oh my fucking god! And a two-stroke motor. Dude, I'm that telling you, that is not you. your dick. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> what? That's the fucking. That's the, the new wave. Like the the auto driving Tesla just needs to be the just the, the outside the chassis. Yeah. And then the inside is just one bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just a big ass mattress. Yeah. It looks like some sci-fi like <laughs> hospital room. That couldn't be the like any more L.A. <laughs> That's gonna be L.A. in like th- year three thousand. Yeah. It's gonna be too many electric cars. Yeah. And everyone wants their own bed on the road. <laughs> and, like, that's going to be the haves and the have-nots, the people with the bed cars. Yeah. Look at this fucking guy passed out on his way to work. With, like, a glass orb around them, and it's, like, pumping vitamins and shit into yeah. the thing, and so you're sleeping. Yeah. It's got a perfect temperature for sleeping. Yeah, and poor people are are have to have one hand on the wheel the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. They can't yeah. reap any of the benefit <laughs> of a fucking electric car or a self-driving car. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Um, yeah, what, what? I'm trying to think of anything else. Anything else weird? Um, I'm about to go raid a Sainsbury after this. I'm a, I'm a fucking, Sainsbury is at the grocery store. Yeah, I'm gonna blow a bag either there or Tesco. We had some shit. Uh, wait, Kyle sent some shit to the thread. Hold on, hello. I see this real quick. I'm really worried about my levels, dude. I, I don't know if I'm fucking loud enough in this bitch. No, it's been fine. Let turn it, turn me up just Hold a little. Get to yeah, turned up just a little bit. Is this. I wish we had our our fucking monitor so I could show um, uh, Charlie D'Amelio dancing with fucking <laughs> Steve Carell's face. That is the creepiest shit I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, dude. Deep fakes. Yeah. Deep fakes rule. Mm-hmm. All right, so I had like four different people send me this. This new Met tour solely focuses on tiny dicks. This is like a, a new... Oh, Sega, it's like, like a, a like an art show. Yeah, gallery at like the Met Gala, and it's like all statues with super small dicks. Okay, copy that. I mean, I feel like I would feel remiss if we didn't mention this. Oh yeah, of course. You know, of course. Um, we'll we'll link this in the description, but read it aloud. Read it. Read aloud the, the title. The unhung heroes of the Metropolitan Tour. Yeah, but this is real. Or Led so wh- by Professor Andrew Lear, <laughs> King. Absolute yeah. king. Yeah, absolutely. My fucking guy put yeah. his name behind this. Yeah, yeah. It's basically just telling the world you have a micro dick. Yeah, whatever. But whatever. I'm saying he's a king. And and so what is it? Is it all people that have done something significant in society with a small dick? It's just shit like this. Like, it's just big let me, statues with let me see, uh, tiny dick. Holy fuck, man. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that chick's face. She's blown away. She's like, I did not know. That that was possible. Get that small. You know what? And that's just proportion, because that body right there got some thick thighs, bro. Yeah, he's got some. Like if his thighs were thinner, it wouldn't it wouldn't look so bad. But the fact that that man is like, you know, he could fucking um, he could squat a bus. Yeah. (laughs) Tickets. Okay, come on, come on. What's this? Tickets are sixty nine dollars for adults. There we go. You're fucking with me. There we go. That's what it is. That's what it is. This is unreal, dude. It's all one big troll. He's got to get people paying $69 to go see some tiny <clears throat> ass dicks. Dude, when the Met Gala hit me up to be a model. Yeah. You didn't know what they meant? I didn't know what they were talking about. Are you sure this isn't like... I thought it was for this. you sure this isn't like another... It's uh, on timeout. Not another night at the box? No. No? No. S- small dick show? It's by the same group that was behind the Nasty Woman Tour. <sighs> What's that one? Which is about two badass ladies... They throughout just, history, I don't know. They just insult you? I don't know. Come on, no, 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 no. Give the ladies equal representation. What's it about? Learn about badass <laughs> ladies throughout history on this two-hour tour. That's okay. all it says. Oh. The most powerful female pharaoh of Egypt, the first official Roman empress, women painters who focus on women's lives, and a female scientist in pre-revolutionary France. Word. That actually does seem kind of cool. Word. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. So, anyways, that's really the only. What else happened? What else? What else happened in pop culture this week? Um, I'm trying to take a look. I have uh, um, been largely removed just because I haven't been. I don't. Th- I haven't slept until last night. Like all my sleep was just like half sleep and like nightmares. Oh yeah. Oh here, here's something I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Was um wait, is it the sleep apnea? 
Uh, what do you mean? No, no, no. It was just like just like the jet lag and jet lag and yeah, yeah. Also, someone, someone, someone told me something scary about a CPAP machine. I haven't gotten mine yet. They said that a CPAP machine can make it so that that muscle gets weak and you can end up dying. No way. Really? It ha- it's happened to people. It's not like broad sweeping, but it is it is a risk. So if you get on a CPAP, you have to like commit to using it. So just put that out there for anyone that has a CPAP. I felt like that was important information. Uh. Is that really that much of a concern, or did I mean, someone just random say that? No, it's like it happened to people, oh. like 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 some judge, and I don't know. Looking at that shit, yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna talk about like Elon Musk. Uh, oh uh, yeah, ripping our shit. Yeah, fucking motherfucker dropped the track. Yeah, motherfucker. Unbelievable, dude. He's doing the exact same thing as us. Right, he is. He's. He's, he's trying. Just cloning our, our, uh, he's trying it, bro. Yeah. And he wore some fucking Tesla truck shoes to the Met. Did he really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, show me. Look at his fucking Was he bullshit. Dripping? I mean, nah, hell no. Nah. So the song, he, I guess he like made an EDM song. He didn't produce it, I don't think, but he like, no, wrote the lyrics and he no. sang it. I, I refuse. He's in the studio, like. I refuse to listen to it. I was Making so mad. fucking music. Damn, those are kind of hard. You would rock these? Yeah, I would. I hate you. Those are hard. Let's see. <clears throat> or is this a joke? Is this another bit? No, I don't think so. I think that's real. Let's go to his fucking page. <laughs> you follow him? Of course I follow Elon Musk. His Twitter is hilarious. Uh, he tweets just like a normal dude. Fuck you. All right, fine. I'll throw my boy a follow. Yeah. It's fucking relatable CEO. I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy the relatable CEO bit. I mean, yeah. It is. It is a little bit transparent, but I also think that, like, Man, none of this shit loading. At Whatever. least trying to remain candid on Twitter when you're like such a powerful person is like kind of commendable. Yeah, because right. everyone else is like, like Tim, Tim, Cook. Tim Apple, Tim Apple, <laughs> Tim yeah. Apple's Twitter. You ever go on that? Oh no, What's it's just for like holidays. And yeah, we yeah. wish everyone a yeah here at Apple. holidays and and uh, disasters. Yeah, it's what he tweets about. Yeah, it's written like a fucking email. Yeah. Twit longer. Yeah, exactly. Greetings. Greetings. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone at the whatever. Yeah, yeah here you get we it. go. But at, Elon Musk is like, yo, we're at like 400,000 pre-orders now. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just like super candid. I don't know. <laughs> Damn, I want to thank my fans so much for blowing up the Tesla truck. <laughs> Shit is wild right now. We're fucking sold out. <laughs> Shit's insane, dude. Dude, I had no idea that the... Cyber truck would blow up so hard. Imagine Listen, next week we're we're doing more colors. We're gonna have green. We're gonna have purple. <laughs> Elon with the Nelk voice personality. <laughs> Yo, dude, what's what the fuck is good? It's Elon working on some brand new shit right now. Go this to f- drop is gonna be insane, you guys. Tesla.com Monday <laughs> at midnight. It's going off. You're gonna want to be there. You're not gonna want to miss it. Monday rolls around. All right. Big news, we're putting out a fucking truck tonight, dude. <laughs> Tap in, make sure you get yours. Only fucking limited supply now, so you're going to want to get a fucking truck, dude. Look at this, dude. 50,000 people on the <laughs> on Tesla, Tesla website <laughs> right now, dude. 50,000 and climbing. This is insane. My boy is eating 18 sticks of butter right now and drinking 45 beers while this is happening. <laughs> oh, man. And check this out. <laughs> Now that we've announced it, I can show you all the sick ass features. So come in here real quick. Yeah. A lot of you've been talking shit. You heard the fucking dash is marble. It is, but check this out. Slides out. Perfect for doing rails, bud. <laughs> Perfect for doing rails. You can get at least 10, 20 fucking lines here. Everyone can do coke in this shit. And even better, slide it back, pull this out, auto burn a fucking <laughs> auto burning dart pit, dude. Smoke a <laughs> dart, pit. throw it in here disintegrates it <laughs> hack fucking, a fucking dart toss it in there <laughs> and then when you stack it all up and it burns down you can dump this in the woods and it's fucking biodegradable and it helps the environment so you can burn darts and help the help the fucking earth dude, dude and craziest thing dude the bed of the truck <laughs> is we've a bed. also we've also <laughs> released a full sand mattress so you can fuck hookers on the road <laughs> <laughs> the bed of the truck is a bed. Is a bed, dude. It's That's not, why it's called that. <laughs> it's not for hauling anything. The only thing, <laughs> no, you're definitely gonna haul ass in this thing because that's what it's for. Putting ass in this bed, 
and fucking it. <laughs> fucking birds. Get yours now. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. By the way, this isn't a roast. We love the Nelk Boys. Yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're, they're great. just very, they're characters. Yeah, they're, they're great. We they're love great you guys, they, We love you guys. They've, they've been nothing but nice to us. Did you see Kyle's new house? Or the their, full send house? Yeah, I got a glimpse. And that got shit looks pretty wild. Yeah, I mean, Lord knows what's going to go on in there, dude. <laughs> I know. I don't even want to think about it. I, I prefer to think of Nelk uh, as the boys we know off camera. I don't like watching their on camera presence. Yeah. Because they're very different. As soon as that camera's they off, yeah, they're, they're so different. Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. They're very just like nice, respectful, I would say. You boys all right? Yeah. Can we get you some water or anything? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for coming out, dude. Yeah. Beep. What the fuck is good? What the fuck is good, you guys? Why are you smoking a cigarette outside? You know we only smoke them inside. That was one of their recent bits. Where they, after they got this brand new house. Oh, no. Making Steve smoke a cigarette inside. I'm like, oh dude, that God. house is going to smell like... Oh. Fucking dart, dude. A fucking dart. I, I love that phrase for fucking... Hacking darts. That's the yeah, best one. Hacking darts. That shit is wild. Man, we... um. <clears throat> Uh, oh, by the way, Broke Bitch merch is up right now. TMGpod.com if you want to get some Broke Bitch merch. Yeah. Like a hoodie, a workman shirt, and a t-shirt. They're, they're all super dope. Yeah. I'm and so fucking... shout out to uh, to Killer for putting those together. And also shout out to... Hold on, I'm going to get the name. Why am I so fucking stupid right now? Actually, that's all the time, but it's literally no different. Shout out to... I'm always dumb. Uh, Shop Dalmata. Dalmata for designing the chain. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what? Big shout out to Dalmata. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. did the custom broke bitch chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. So now yeah. yeah, and shout out to Lauren Kim for taking that picture. This uh, Instagram is shop Dalmata, D-A-L-M-A-T-A, if you want to go on there. and Yeah, cop Give her some chain. love, dude. Cop some jewelry. Yeah, some show, cool stuff. show some love in it. Yeah, bruv. Yeah, bruv. Show some love in it. Yeah, bruv. I'm trying to do um, anything else that's happened. Um, airplane was smooth over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was roasting me for the fucking... Wearing an N95 mask in an airport. I only did that. I know. Okay. So with the whole coronavirus thing, which I heard this clip from a senator the other day, and you know, I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt. Um, but so I know those masks don't help you. They just help from spreading it. But I did it so I don't touch my fucking face because I have a fucking bad habit of doing that. Because mm. that's how you do that shit. You fucking you know, shake somebody's hand and then fucking rub your mouth oh, or your nose and like whatever. So here's the thing though that I heard in this clip that kind of freaks me the fuck out. Yeah. Do you want to know? I'm listening, yeah. Do you want to know? Yeah. Because I don't want to fuck you up. Well, I mean like I've been reading some pretty like, uh, granted some of it has been pretty. Um, yeah, I'm hesitant to like speak on it because I don't want to like shit, spread false info kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah. It's all super like sensationalist stuff. Like yeah. the, at least the tweets that I've read are like real numbers from China and it's like yeah. hundreds of people dying every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like that being said, also I read on CNN like a couple days ago was the most deadly day so far and it was like 86 people in China died mm -hmm. in just that one day. Mm -hmm. So it's like getting, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we're not we're definitely, we're not doctors or anything, but yeah. like, you know, nah, the one thing that freaked me out was the senator was claiming that it it can be aerosolized, whatever whatever he meant by that, but he was implying Good. That's good. Yeah, that it could just it's travel good. through the air. Oh, what do you mean? He was saying that like you could be sitting in a room with and I don't even know if that's the right word. That's why I immediately questioned what the fuck he was saying. What do you mean you can can it? And so you can just like go around and like spray people with yeah. it. Yeah. Well Yeah, fucking who knows. But he was his follow up statement was that it could travel through the air. And that's vague, like I would prefer if someone with scientific cred could speak to that. But like he was saying that you could be sitting in the room with someone and it could pass to you. And that the the difference between this one and SARS is that SARS was not asymptomatic, whereas coronavirus is. Meaning if you have it, you don't show symptoms or you can be a carrier and not show symptoms. And I guess supposedly SARS wasn't that way. Because if you contracted it, like you had it for sure. And it was, you know, you would exhibit symptoms and then whatever. So it just, you know, it's, it's tough to say. And actually, I think it's interesting now because now that we're in like the, you know, the information age where stuff can be like refuted and discussed and, and I don't know, um, you get, you can get a clearer picture. Mm -hmm. I will be interested to see how this all sort of pans out. Like 
if it does become like a real issue and you know if like the cover up is like bullshit because like that clip of that nurse saying that over like 90,000 people had been you know admitted for it you know that was like leaked through telegram really yeah that's how that got out huh. <clears throat> that's like her way of you know whatever uploading it without getting fucked um because they're really trying to like hide how bad it is. Yeah, supposedly. And I, I, I guess currently the border from China to Russia is closed. Yeah. And then like France and other countries are not accepting flights out from China. And I think America's that way too. Damn, that's nuts. Mm-hmm. That's scary, man. Yeah, and it makes. What things... happens if it's just fucking the plague? I mean, like some dude was wearing a mask on my flight, and he wore it for most of the flight. I was impressed. Um, I took mine off, and then. I got spooked because at the end of the fucking flight, this dude had a heart attack. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. You're telling me about that. That's yeah, that, that was that was pretty that was pretty scary. Um, and that's wild. Right as we were landing, too, that was like insane. I couldn't believe that. And uh, I was like, <laughs> I've never seen like when a flight attendant looks scared. That fucked me up. Yeah. That they were like, oh fuck. Yeah. Like this is for real. Yeah, that's when you know. And like shit's not good. Yeah, and like they're like I could tell like they were sweaty palms because they're like picking shit up and dropping it and like opening things and like too much force and they're closing and they're like fucking trying to get these bags and, and masks are falling yeah. out of this shit. Yeah. They're, they're like opening bags as they're running and shit's yeah. just like shooting yeah. out of it and they're like oh all right just give me one moment please. They're pissing and shitting yeah. everywhere and yeah. <laughs> fisting their at no yeah <laughs> <laughs> fucking. The male flight attendant, Scottish dude, was pissed. I told you this, but like fucking idiots when the plane landed, like standing up, like, I've got to get to the trolley to get like my package. And he's like, please have a seat. This is not a request. Get, uh, he was like right there to get in your fucking seat. Like he was so fucking livid. I'm like, please. I've got to get to the trolley. Yeah. I've got to get to a trolley. Yeah. My bag. I've got to get my package. <laughs> Move out of way, but get me package. Just wish he fucking kicked off, dude. <laughs> we're, dude, by the end of this tour, we're gonna be fucked up. We're gonna have like English slang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Australian, of, everything. New Zealand. And our accent's gonna just be weird. Yeah. Everyone's always like, you sound more American in person. Well, Matt's starting to like say shit. He's starting to ask questions with the British like intonation. Yeah. Where you ask yeah. them like where the sentence goes up. Yeah. You wanna get a picture now? You wanna get a picture now? Like, you want to get a picture now? And it goes back down. Whereas we'd be like, you want to get a picture now? Yeah. <laughs> but Matt starts asking things like a, but not, but in an American accent. And it fucking throws me off every single time he does that. Like, do you want to get in the car? Yeah. 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 What are you doing? What are you? What? You want to get in the car? We got to do those tonight. We got to do. This is my voice after one day in Britain. <laughs> this is my voice after one day in Britain or after three days in Britain. This is my voice after 10 days in Britain. <laughs> I do believe the Labour Party is really up to no good. And if I were to speak on their policy, is my the thing. I agree with a few things, but here's my primary problem. Here's my, here's my voice. Uh, a whole week in, in the UK. I'm a scaffolder. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what the fuck does that mean? He said build scaffolding yeah, for buildings? Scaffolder, yeah. Because on this... Oh, I'm fuck, good I can't say this because it's going to ruin it. Fuck. Don't. Don't, 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 okay, okay. do not do it. Okay. Someone said you can never, someone said maybe I should never trust a scaffolder. But that to me is a pretty weird thing to say. I mean, that it's like, is. It's also like, our, I would I would definitely trust a scaffolder. <laughs> you have to trust, trust a fucking person that's building scaffolding. Yeah. For a building. It's true, yeah, yeah. You have to have if a solid foundation, yeah. If it's if it's fucked, yeah, yeah. If that's like a if there's sketchy people doing that shit, yeah. that makes me feel not safe just being in buildings. Now you know what we should talk about what? real quick is the whole fucking you know. Oh my God, he's so mysterious. Oh yeah, we're laughing at people, you know, wanting to like a dude like Callum, like being like a like a woman being all. <laughs> Like, like, just, oh, my God, I want to know what's in his head. Because they keep going, like, all the girls that he meets, they keep going, like, oh, you're so, like, shielded, and, like, you keep your emotions, like, you, you know, behind, you don't wear them on your sleeve, and you keep them <laughs> hidden, and all this what's stuff. What's going on like, in his fucking head is just a fucking, it's just a, a speed fan with five settings in there, just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and a dripping water faucet. It's so funny, because every 
response he has, like when he's flirting. Yeah. They call it flirting where he's grafting or whatever. Some girl will be like, you're very like closed off. And he just goes, you reckon? (laughs) Yeah. You reckon? It's like, that's not a fucking response. That's just basically saying, oh, you think so? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. You're very like shielded. Do you you think that? Yeah. (laughs) So you think that then? Yeah. See? (laughs) And then girls are like, Damn, he is really mysterious. Yeah, yeah. I want to know what he's thinking. I wonder how many golf balls yeah. I could fit inside her asshole. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's thinking About scaffolding? the exact thing you just said. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. thinking, you're so shielded. And he's thinking, I'm so shielded. Do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with my hands. Dude, it's so funny. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I fucking, uh, yeah, when Naz was clowning him, I can't stop thinking about that. And he's like, yeah, of course girls like yeah, you. Yeah, I finally got, I actually didn't see that. It was in the episode that I had watched, like, right after we talked about that. So oh, then right. I saw that clip. It was almost better, like, having talked about what it. Were you fucking, were you busting over what? Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> Connor? Yeah. What you mean, mate? <laughs> you all right, Sophie? <laughs> like, nailed him. But also, Naz, Naz is, like, not that charming no he's not he's, he's goofy as hell bit, yeah he's goofy yeah but i do like the little sauce thing oh That's dude like, so funny I, 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 but you have to remember dude, he's 23 yeah i know what the fuck are you english people putting in your food yeah <laughs> that you look fucking yeah just dudes from that came to our shows from the middle of the uk oh yeah six and a half feet tall yeah just yeah yeah wide ass shoulders yeah well that our dad's from iceland in it yeah yeah so we like you know proper toll yeah no, we learned, though, that London boys are small. Yeah. We have to put that in our next show. I belong here. Yeah, <laughs> we got to move here. Um, Where are we at, though? Because we got to sleep and eat. Yep. Um, TMGpod.com if you want to get Broke Bitch merch. and uh, Keep and your then, keep your eyes peeled for a... Yeah, we're going to record something tomorrow. A special little cut tomorrow. Um, also... uh. I feel like we should say it now we've uh, we've been in t- we've been in contact with the boy Michael Reeves. Oh yeah, he's coming on. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. If That'll be a good time. His, that's gonna be a good episode. Yeah, I'm actually stoked for that, man. Yeah. I feel like he's got like that passion of like, you know. I just can't wait to talk to him about like programming. programming yeah, honestly. same, same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Smart about, fucking kid. Yeah. I like. Have you ever seen like one of his like, um, his VPN or I think it was like a VPN uh, ad read. I always turn his videos off before the reads. Oh, really? He always does them at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm always... No, I, I, if I'm right, I think he did one where he demonstrated packet sniffing. Oh, he did? Yeah. He oh, was, yeah, I think I did see that yeah, one, yeah. actually. He yeah, yeah. He was like, watch this. He's like... Yeah. He's like no. I tried to do that shit one time as a child, <laughs> and my dad caught me somehow. Mm-hmm. I think he, he saw the, the software that I had on my computer. Yeah. The packet sniffing software. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? And yeah. I got all mad because I was like, you're, uh, you know, this is my private life and, and you can't come on my computer and break my trust like that just, just being a shithead kid fucking, <laughs> what are you packet sniffing <laughs> yeah. in residential alberta like there's no fucking packets to sniff dude it's my own wi-fi that that's fucking that's gonna be the that's gonna be the year 3000 equivalent of um did you did you <laughs> what's like some shit that's your parents that you don't fuck with did you wear dad's favorite shoes or something <laughs> i don't know I'm 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 hungry as hell. I can't think what? of shit. Your parents got mad at you because you used to like no. wearing your dad's shoes. No hell no. What's something my dad used to get fucking? It's used, such a weird thing. My fucking just being on his computer. Yeah. 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 But it's like it's just funny, like super technical. Yeah. Michael, were you packet sniffing while I was at work? No. No. Michael, come here. I. Sp- Whose packets were you, you sniffing? Look at, let me let me see your nose. Yeah, yeah, I look yeah. at full of packets, yeah. <laughs> just like I thought. And your mom's in the next room. I never thought <laughs> he was just sniff packets like that. All right, gang. We'll see you guys tomorrow, or I mean soon. See you guys soon. <laughs> Wait, can I do an Uncle Noel? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dad, I'm a package sniffer. <laughs> what? You've been sniffing packets? No, Dad, I'm gay. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to say you were a hacker. <sighs> a package sniffer? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's gay programming son coming out to his gay pro or no, his non gay programming dad. I'm a package sniffer. Dad, I'm a package oh my God. sniffer. Thank God. I thought you were a hacker. I was going to say.
everything I've instilled in you out the window. <laughs> That's good. All right. All right, guys. That's a good one to end it on. See you soon. Also, wait, no, people like the, the sudden tragedy that you read right at the end of the <laughs> what, ha- what was that? Like Did- eight people died in an apartment fire. <laughs> Okay. Should so, I bring up should yeah, I bring, just up, some bring up some fucking random tragedy? Oh, all you gotta do is go to fucking Twitter moments, probably. Yeah. Let's see. No. The other dude, did you go on Twitter the other day? I was crying. The leading moment was Philip Schofield, famous footballer, is gay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Philip Schofield is gay. That was a Twitter moment? Yeah, yeah. And um okay. Um guys, be on the lookout for the first supermoon of twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> People across, we were joking about having a morning show. Yeah. That's what this would be. Yeah. People across the world have spotted uh, the snow moon over the weekend, named by the Native American tribes who associated the event with heavy snowfall in February. So, <laughs> oh, here, no, here, even better. I'll show you a new moon, Karen. Oh. And he's put his ass out that was on me fisting camera. My ass. Here, no, here we go. Um, Chinese cities become <clears throat> ghost towns amid coronavirus fears. Oh. Um, citizens are being sealed into their homes. Oh. All right, All right see guys. you guys next see week. See you guys next week. <laughs>